here with Hannah Green after that 800. How'd you feel about your race? Uh, okay, I was kind of hoping to PR, but I just depends on the race, I guess, and it wasn't quite as fast as I wanted, but I'm happy with it, I guess. And the, was that your final NCAA race then? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's my last. This so is my last year. Even second, you know, indoors, second outdoors, very close a lot of times. I mean, how do you feel about your career? Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I certainly didn't come in as a top runner, so to be leaving uh, college as, I guess, one of the top 800 runners feels pretty good. <laughs> Does it feel incomplete at all without the NCAA title? Yeah, I mean, that's something I've always wanted, but I really can't complain about how it's gone. and. I'm just happy to have had the chance to be here and um, run at the NCAA championships. Did you run how you wanted to, like in terms of race? Did you get a plan to strategy to uh, I mean, yeah, we went through the 400 at a good pace, and then I would have liked to finish just a little bit faster, but I did a little more speed work, and <laughs> hopefully it'll all fall in place, maybe USA's. Yeah. Is it frustrating at all, racing Raven? She's just, I mean, she's so good. Yeah. I mean, no, it's like it's a good challenge. Something that I like being challenged. Um, it wouldn't be any fun, I guess, to come win every race. I mean, without any competition. So, uh, what's next? USA. Uh, USA is next. I'll be just training until then. And then time. You said breaking two. Yeah, I'd like to break two. Hopefully. Hannah, you've done so well picking at the right time. Sometimes you get hurt during the season, you come out and run your best. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, not everybody can peak at the right time. <laughs> yeah, um, I've just been doing the same training the past four years and it's worked really well. Last year was definitely upsetting coming and pulling my hamstring, but um, I was definitely happy with how this went and I guess it just all fell into place. My coach knows what he's doing, so it just works out well. <laughs> And you've been consistent with what you've been doing? No changes at all these last four years? Uh, not really. I mean, the paces and workouts have gotten faster, but pretty much been doing the same thing. So what was your, you said you weren't recruited that much out of high school. What, what was your PR in high school? Uh, it was a 216 and the 800. So what's been the difference going to college? Um, I, I, I mean, I put in a lot of cross-country work. I used to work with the sprinters in high school. Um, and I'd say I'm more of like a like, distance 800 runner. I didn't do I don't do a lot of sprint work. Um, generally, training with the other cross country girls is <laughs> what I do. So it's a lot more endurance I think that I've gained yeah. being at Tech. Yeah, that's helped. You, you've run the 15 a few times this spring as well. Yeah. Is that something that you that you did in previous seasons? Of uh, I mean, I had run it, but I'd never run it really well. Uh, so that was that's actually something I'd like to try more because I don't really know how to run it. I just kind of followed people and been able to kick at the end. Um, so that's something I want to get more into yeah. and hopefully get faster at that also. Is, is there a reason you've been running more this season? Like, did, why did you decide, I guess, or your coach decide to run a 15 um, One of the main things was scoring points at ACC's. We needed, uh, we had, we knew we had a shot to win and that we had the opportunity, which we haven't done in 10 years, I think, or something. And that's something I've wanted since I've been here that has definitely meant the most to me being at Tech was winning an ACC championship title as a team. And so I was willing to do whatever I needed to do to help us get there and doubling in the 815 was one of the main things that he wanted me to do. So we put in a lot of work getting better at the 15 and working on just being able to race three days in a row and getting through prelims and finals you, where I needed to be. Do you think that's helped your 800? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's helped more, like keeping a consistent pace, being able to finish stronger. Because um, in the, I think I've <laughs> split my last lap of the 15 faster than most of my eights this year, so <laughs> that definitely helped out a lot. All right. Well, uh, nice job today. Thank you. Thank you for your time.